Hello, hello, good evening.
Hello, good evening. Hi, hello. Good How are you? I'm just fine, admiring what a lovely blouse you got. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How are you? Tell me. Today, a little bit tired, honestly. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> this is the beginning of the month. Yeah. Always a lot of stuff to do, I imagine. Yeah. Well, you know, this module is going to be interesting for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Are we, yeah, are we going be... to talk about, about? Well, imagine Sorry. unit number one is management. Ah, okay. We're going to talk about, uh, uh, well, we are going to get into the vocabulary about that. It's a little bit related to production, companies, stuff like that, but still Mommy. it's, it's going to be very interesting. Sounds great. Yeah, because I mean, it's a lot of the vocabulary we, we are going to be uh, uh, checking out. It's going to be related to your area. That's cool. That's cool. Sure. Tell me, how was last week for you? Uh, I worked on Saturday and on Sunday I slept. <laughs> oh, really? That's yeah. cool. I wish I could be like you, my dear. <laughs> For me, that thing of you know, sleeping is kind of complicated. It's like uh, Saturday, I, I just could have sleep like... Uh, Four hours, three, four hours. Oh, really? Yeah. You no, know, my gastritis <laughs> was acting up and got me like that. No, something. Uh, my, I didn't know my little sister works for, for Inglés Corporativo. And she said that she knows you. She has, or I don't know, Silvia Regina. You know her? Most probably. Hmm. The problem is this, if you remember, I am quite bad at names. <laughs> really? Yeah, you know, I mean, to use a very uh, colloquial term, I suck at remembering names. I am so bad. I don't know why, but I never quite catch them. In which area is she working? Most probably we have seen each other in a meeting or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've been busy, you tell me. Yeah, making business. That's good. And tell me how how does the 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 the, the how does this month uh, looks like? Is it going to be a good one? May is going to be a good one. It's a long okay. month. 31 days. Mm -hmm. That's good for business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Hey, I mean, any day that is good for business is a good day for you. Sure. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I mean, you know, you need to hope for the best and do your best. Exactly, I always do my best. Okay, well, that's, that's the attitude in the end, you know. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? Exactly. Give our best and see how things turn out in the end. That's what I think. Do my best and whatever it comes, it will be welcome. Yeah, whatever comes is going to be good. And I mean, as I told you, there are, well, as you know, there are good days, good months, bad months. That's part of the deal, right? Exactly. So we will see how this month goes, but man, it's going to be a long month. You, you just remind me of that. Yeah, oh my gosh. Almost five weeks. It's going to be a long one. Four weeks and two days more. Yeah, and I got two beautiful Good weekends. Good. This is the only weekend Good. that I'm going to be like Good. full because because let's see 14 i got a uh, midterm at the university 21st i got another midterm man it's gonna be fun for me <laughs> yeah and the, the thing is this you know one of them is statistics and i don't like that subject uh, oh, really yeah it's and that's the problem i i haven't been able to attend to all the classes and when i have attended i haven't been able to like be on in the class so i have just taken notes of the of the topics and i need to start studying them one by one but okay. uh, in the end what can we do it's fun they told me to study again at this age man <laughs> but you I'm guys cool. lucky because these days you can watch a class every single time oh, yeah, you want. Sure. Uh -huh. yeah sure sure yeah but you know the thing is this uh, i was talking to my wife the other day man she tells me i'm i wouldn't like to go back to study at the university i mean we were we were together at the university we met at the university when we were studying and she told me that's why i got my career and she says i'm cool with it but the problem is that i want to keep on studying another one so <laughs> I'm not my that husband, normal, I think. My husband keeps on studying. Keeps on studying. Yeah, and that's the funny thing. She tells me that I'm crazy because I'm thinking about as soon as I finish this in two years, hopefully start another one. Another career? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want I want to study psychology. Oh really? Yeah. I need to understand myself, you know, that's a big <laughs> problem. That thing ain't easy. <laughs> I always laugh. a pleasure to have you here in my class. Me Welcome. Too, teacher. I'm so glad we're with Mommy. you again. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see who else is around. Irene. Irene and Susana. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm excellent. That's great, that's great. Well, my name is Douglas Arevalo, I'm gonna be your teacher. And tell me, Irene, uh, I don't know, tell me a little bit about yourself, please, if you don't mind. Okay, nice to meet you. And my name is uh, Irene, and I'm a... Uh, I'm uh, working right now at Human Resources Area in my area. area yes, and I have been working at least ten years in this in this area, and I enjoy it. 
I love to work, I love my job. And about myself, I enjoy to study, study English too. And uh, that's all. Okay, well, that's fine, that's fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this class. It's going to be fun. We are going to be working a lot of stuff and we're going to be speaking a lot. Welcome, Irene. Nice having you here. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see who else is around. <laughs> Mr. Rivas, Jose Rivas, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Doing great. Thanks for That's asking. That's cool. That's cool. So tell me, how's everything? How was the weekend? Uh, was good, but today, so was a hard day, you can say. Oh. Yeah, so basically I come back. So with the same situation that it's back to back, so and I don't like it. I, I can say that today was a really sad day and hard day. Well, so sorry to hear that. Well, you know, you're gonna be a little bit distracted here in class. So don't worry, you're gonna have fun tonight. You're gonna be talking. Yep. That's right, yep. That's why I decided to work out, like running, Ooh, so in order to nice. forget press. Yes. Yeah, I wish I had had that opportunity today, but you know, today I had a meeting at the university, so with my classmates, so I couldn't, and I'm missing doing exercising a little bit today. But tomorrow's gonna be another day. Let's hope tomorrow I got yeah, probably enough time. Tomorrow you will, right? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Mr. Rivas, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Let's see, let's see who else is around. Mr. Steven Villacorta. Hello, how are you? Hello, Mr. Good afternoon or good evening. <laughs> good evening, how are you? Um, fine, I'm great. Yeah. What, what can I say? <laughs> Well, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm Steven. I'm 28 years old. Um, and about my, uh, my life, let me see. I'm an engineer. Okay, what type um, of engineer are you? Civil. Civil, okay. civil engineer, yes. And I work at Guatemala. Okay. And, um, that's my life, just working <laughs> and try to... Ah, welcome to the club, my friend. There's plenty of, plenty of us here in this class are exactly in the same situation. We just think about working in these two hours. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, that's life nowadays, you know, just being busy. Welcome to the class, Steven. We're going to have Thank fun. We will, we will have the chance to talk a little bit more with each other during the class. Okay. Let's see who else is around, not thanks to you. Uh, hello, Liana. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Hi, nice to see you again. Nice seeing you too, so tell me, what's new? Well, I got a new haircut. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, uh, I have noticed it already. Uh, thank you. And well, uh, I changed the color a little darker. Okay. Yeah. You know, then that's well. I painted my my bedroom. Did that wall? Yeah. It's not white anymore. Now it is like yeah. kind of navy blue. I think. Yeah. You you've been man, making many changes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hair, the wall. Mm, that's interesting. What are you into, my dear? <laughs> and what about you, teacher? Me? Well, you know, as Mr. Steven said, the world of the day is working a lot. Yeah, as always. You, you had know, a very busy routine every day. Yeah. That's fun. I mean, otherwise, I would be like dead. 
<laughs> I hate being without doing something productive during the day. So what about the weekend? How was it for On the you? weekend? Well, uh, Saturday, I went to the salon to made my, made my hair. How many and... hours? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Mm, let me see. I arrived at the beauty salon at 2 p.m. Okay. And they finished my hair and the haircut, the color, and, and the final uh, hairstyle yeah. uh, around five o'clock. Oh my gosh. Yeah, three hours. Yeah, you know, you know I have a lot of a lot of hair, so yeah, I can tell. But it's hard for me to stand when whenever I get to the to the to the hair salon is the smell of the chemicals. Man drives me nuts. Yeah. But besides that, um, Sunday was a very slow day. I just stayed home uh, with my with my family. Yeah, and that's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was a very busy day. Uh, I was attending some meetings with my boss, you know, as usual. And Man. tomorrow I have to go to the main office at San Salvador, in San Salvador. Uh, so tomorrow will be a very busy day too. Wow. Be careful when you are moving around. And, yeah. you know, that's part of the job, to be busy all the time. Yeah, it's part to be a grown-up. <laughs> yeah, you know, nobody told me that when I was young. <laughs> they didn't give me enough advice. Hey, Liana, nice having you here. Welcome. My pleasure, teacher. Let's see, Mr. Juan Carlos Romero. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, how are you? Uh, here, uh, a bit uh, exhausted. Uh, I've been uh, doing some, uh, how do you say, like mandals? <laughs> errands, errands. Errands. Okay, you okay, remember something. Remember a little something. Uh, you don't do well, yes, you do some errands, but the most correct expression is uh, I've been running, running some errands. That would be that would be most appropriate. Oh, uh, okay. Running some errands. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, so I was doing that. <laughs> uh, the fact is that today I was supposed to repair my motorcycle. I'm not a um, uh, mechanic. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, but uh, so I, I had to take the bus. I had to uh, carry with me my computer to add a uh, more RAM space and uh, as the maid here, Ileana, I also uh, cut my hair and that, that was all. <laughs> I have been a little bit busy today. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Like uh, where do you work, what do you do? Okay, uh, right now I'm working with Saitel. Uh, I'm in the area of workforce management. Uh, okay. When my duties uh, are like a constant monitoring to the agents, uh, creating reports, uh, exploring reports, and also uh, like uh, setting some segments. Uh, of rest for the agents to have their breaks, their meals. And I also like to do workouts on my free time when I, when I end my activities. 
Excellent, excellent. Juan Carlos, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Roxana. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Hi, good evening. I'm Let's fine. start the, the argument. Hello, Roxana. How's everything? Hello. Well, everything is okay. Today it was a calm day because it was a holiday on Dominican Republic. Okay. So I, Would you mean a slow day? Yeah. Because Remember. I have a, yes. Remember, when we talk about the, the in our jobs, uh, we don't say that it was a calm day. Calm would mean like there was no noise. In this case, what you're talking about is that it was a slow day, not a lot of business, right? Okay, okay, thank you. Well, today was a slow day. About uh, the holiday and I have a few cases. And about weekend, uh, you know, the last time I was uh, talking to you about my uh, mother birthday. Mom yeah. birthday. And uh, how do you say tío? Uncle? No. Uncle, yeah, sure. Uncle. Oh, sorry, I forget. Uh, well, um, I have an uncle birthday too, the last week. So, and sat, sat, on Saturday, we was in a, we were in a um, lunch, bar, lunch party birthday? No. Birthday lunch. Birthday, birthday lunch. For my no, launch, uncle. launch, launch. Birthday lounge for my uh, uncle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Roxana. Listen to me. Launch. Launch. No, you're saying launch. If you make it long, what you're saying is this. Let me text it for you. You're saying this. Okay. So it must be short, lunch. Lunch. Like that, short perfect. Lunch. And at night, um, it was my dinner, birthday, birthday dinner. Uh-huh, oh my gosh. With my, with my uh, close friends. And Sunday, I was at home resting and cleaning all the stuff. You've been busy. Yeah, Saturday. Sunday now. But everything well, is okay. That's nice. That's nice. Welcome to the class, Roxana. Thank you. Hey guys, let me get the attendance before we move on. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good evening. Alejandro, good evening. Alejandro Alfredo Sagascume Díaz. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Carlos Romero López. Here. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellano. Present. 
Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, well, let's see. Ada, hello Ada, how are you? How's everything? Hello teacher. I'm, I'm tired. I arrived at home and finished the surgery um, around uh, 45 minutes. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. And they are uh, all work. A long and day cutting people up. <laughs> yes, teacher. And the last week, I a lot of work. And oh. the weekend, I keep. Uh, I was about to watch I the, my favorite series. And Sunday, I do a sleep a little better. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. At least you could rest. That's something very important. Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. I I glad to have a guy as teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Welcome to the class, Ada. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. Ana Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Uh, today, you know, I was thinking in the last, one of the last classes we had in the other course, in the usage of D, D, because I was writing um, an information and I was always, no, this is a, uh, something comfortable no this is not his <laughs> my god um i was um thinking in the class today but i'm doing very well starting the month uh, uh, very well yes okay. a, a little bit um i had like a, a little bit um symptoms like uh, allergies uh, i made things for example that uh, it, I, how can I explain you this? I made something that is now supposed that I not must do is uh, I was in the that rain. I shouldn't. That I shouldn't, I'm sorry. I was in the raining a uh, few minutes Saturday. And that under the rain. Under the rain. And that made me feel bad a little uh but that's beautiful to be under the rain i love uh, it i know but the first one is like dirty water i i think because it's the first one the, the first one yes because the the roofs are i think they are dirty and the water is not so clean i don't know it's craziness <laughs> uh, but um then the rest, it's everything okay. You're starting a new month and hoping to achieve my goals. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's a good attitude, you know? Well, that's the attitude. <laughs> yes, that must be it. Thank you. So, so tell me, tell me. Let's see, I'm always worried whenever I start talking to you. Man, you always trick me out with some words. No, 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 I don't have any word right now. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Just let me do something. Okay, let's see who else is around. Look who else is around. Oh, Maria Alejandra. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. I feel fine today. 
<laughs> so did you finally move, Maria Alejandra? Yes, teacher. The last, when did you? The last Monday. <laughs> How was it? How was it? <laughs> mm, I'm thinking that I try to move uh, a different uh, things in the weekend and like during this, the weekend and uh, during the weekend and yeah. on monday only yeah. pass the furniture and it's okay i think that more easy that i uh, easier easier i paid a service for a truck for the mudanza yeah um uh, include uh six people and i don't have a lot of furniture or things and i think that's very easy uh, that's cool. all, uh -huh. <laughs> i i think in that or uh, the difficult in the apartment is that the second level um down the the stairs, the la grass, and uh, all the things uh, the truck don't pass in the parking and stay out. Oh. Uh -huh. But so when you needed to you needed to 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 carry all the stuff along. Uh huh. Yes, exactly. And but when come to or came to the house, very. It's a very easier. Uh, don't very easy. Very easy. Very easy. Don't complicate. And maybe twenty minutes. Uh, all the thing is staying down. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's cool. Yes. That's and, cool. And I think that a uh, very good experience compared to the my last. The previous one. Yeah. My previous. <laughs> Many. Yes. If I have to move right now, wow! <laughs> In my case, it would be crazy. Yes. Yeah. The other day I was talking. I was talking that that I was thinking about you know moving to San Salvador, closer to San Salvador. Yes. But just thinking about moving all the stuff I got in here, man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a big no-no for me. And I think that is very expensive in this moment stay in San Salvador. I, in my case, I don't have an option for a stay like this because I only know to, uh -huh, to como los alrededores. Yeah, the, 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 oh. Um, the outskirts of uh, the, the city, out, you mean? The outskirts and their city. And I come to the los planets or for a start when they switch for the planet. And um, very people feel a uh, long or stay fair, como que soy lejos. <laughs> yeah, tell me uh -huh. about it. I mean, I, I live in San Martin. It takes me, uh, the other day I went to San Salvador last Friday. I, I was coming out of the of the mall around four and i was arriving home 10 to 6. took me almost two hours what? and to be honest with you the traffic wasn't that heavy okay some days it's even worse i only have the opportunity to drive in traffic the last thursday because i went to the apartment because I give or give the gifts for the owner or the dueño. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And I stay in Multiplaza and I try to come uh, from her to uh, Monsignor Romero and oh no, I make a mistake when I decide this. <laughs> but I, it's okay, I, the house is good. I like to stay with the pets and I have a garden and my mother feels okay. And I think that 
only important for me is that uh, she feels okay. That's nice. That's nice. Thank Great you. attitude. Welcome, Maria Alejandra. Nice having you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, I still got some minutes. Marcos, hello, Marcos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Uh, it's great to, to see you once again. Tell me, how's everything? How was the weekend for you? What's new? Oh, okay. Um, I am very mm, calm these days because I finally finished my mm, my final stage or my final phase in the university and oh cool so uh, yeah uh, i have a little more time to to take these classes and do the exercise that i have to to do it because sometimes i have to uh, to take time to 10 p.m to 1 a.m perhaps doing um reports or or Something like that. Reports, reports. Re reports, okay, reports. Um, and doing homework from the university. So I am a little bit uh, relaxed because I have a little bit more time. And I am happy because I, I just I just keep waiting for the grad. Um, ceremony or graduation. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. So cool yeah. that you have fulfilled all that. That's yes, nice. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Finally, and that phase. <laughs> and the weekend, uh, the weekend was relaxed for me. I rest. Um, I go. I went to to take uh, un tratamiento dental. Really? Yeah. Went to the dentist. Yes. 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 That's... I I arrive arrive like eleven thirty and they attend me like one hour. Later, <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, really? Yeah. But at least I, I, I finished that, that treatment. But I had to, to do this Friday too, to have another session of that treatment because uh, they divide the session into one this Saturday. And Another one this Friday. So I had to, to ask for a permission in my job to go to, to win yeah, the job two hours um, and go to that, that place. It's, it's located by Unevar de los Héroes. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you've been busy. Mm, so so so. Um, because I finally and the, the the university I've been relaxed in in the job. Oh, was all this day was slow. Well, so not that much. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you very much, Mr. And welcome. Okay, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And there's Ramon. Hello, Ramon. I still got a few minutes. Yep. Hello, oh, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. Sorry. Hello, how are you? My mega little problem. <laughs> um, I'm fine, teacher. Um, thank you for asking. Hello. Tell me, how was the weekend? What did you do? Okay. 
um my weekend in my weekend i drove to san miguel yeah yes and i i let me see i have a um oh sorry i went to the beach and uh, the cuckoo beach you know okay that's nice yeah yeah and um, yeah, it's, it's really nice beach um the suns is like uh the black color but it's very uh i don't know suave yeah it's soft yeah i know i know and it's it's beautiful it's a beautiful beach but in the weekend wasn't it packed wasn't there a lot of people no, no, no. And and this weekend, I is a uh, um, don't full people. I don't know. Wasn't packed. Wasn't packed. Okay. Okay. That's Wasn't nice. packed. Excellent, excellent. So you have fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Excellent. Okay. Well, Thank you, teacher. Well, Ramon, no thanks to you. Thanks for being here. Well, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, welcome all of you and Alejandro. Let's see, Francisco. I couldn't talk to you, uh, but we need to move on. We are going to be working on the on the manual. We are going to also be working on the on some other topics. Uh, for the new ones here with me, just to let you know. Uh, Something that I like to work a lot is conversations. I really like to work in conversations. I really, really want you speaking. So I'm going to be pushing you to talk to each other, to talk to me. And that's something that we're going to be doing tonight. We, I'm going to give you first a topic for you to discuss a little bit, uh, a question, a couple of questions for we to talk, working in groups. Then we're going to work on the on the manual. We got us a conversation, then some vocabulary, and then we come back to to speaking practice. Okay, it's gonna be fun. Uh, this week, week number one is we're gonna be working more with the manual. Between week two and week three, we're going to focus a lot on speaking. Okay. Remember, those two weeks, uh, we're going to be working a lot. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be working a lot on speaking, so it's going to be fun, okay? I hope you enjoy it. And remember, the idea for me is to help you out. If you got any question, any suggestion, I am open to suggestions. If you want to tell me something, you can tell me on private. You can tell me personally, that's okay. Besides that, remember guys, I got uh, 15 minutes for all of us to, to have the chance to share a little bit, to talk a little bit at the end of the class. And I'm gonna be letting you know um, every day who are the ones assigned. If you have any problem with any day, just let me know early in the class so I can get somebody else to stay with me. And let's see. I hope that's all. Oh, something else, please. Be sure that you have uh, that you have added yourself to the WhatsApp group. Remember, we use it a lot. So you get the link to, to get into the group on your email, I guess. Yeah, on your assignation email. And let's start. Let's see. Now I got a very interesting question for you. If you could be born at a different time period, when would it be? I'll give you an example. Let's see. In my case, ooh, I got the, the period and the years. Hmm, I'm talking about between uh, around the 1920s, France. Man, that would be that would have been lovely for me. A lot of uh, some cultural aspects are very interesting for me. So Remember, you're going to be asking and answering the question to each other, but not just that. Remember that if you answer the question and you explain why, okay? 
you're going to be working in small groups. You're going to be working in groups of three members. And groups are created right now. Please, guys, jump in. You're going to have five minutes for this activity, and then I will bring you back. I would like to uh, born on 19th or 50s, but in El Salvador, uh, I won't like that. Uh, I, will, I would like maybe in United States, in Texas, or some, uh, some uh, state like that, something mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. hey, so, how old are you, Juan mm -hmm. Carlos? Oh. Uh, 27. Oh, little kid. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> yes. okay. What about you, Heidi? Where would, I was, when would I you was, like to? I was telling them that I wouldn't like to change the period I was born. I was born in 1977. Oh, the 70s. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, and yeah, I, we, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, you and me, we are very close. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, we enjoyed I the love... 80s, the 90s were the 90s. cool. <laughs> exactly, I mean, that's why I wouldn't. For music, the 90s were awesome. Uh -huh. The best music. <laughs> I know, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah, were and the, and the for 80s were cool. Yeah. I mean, we had fun the, the, the old style. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't like to change it. I like but, it. De servicios, pero uh -huh. but, es una aseguradora. But it's a in an insurance, insurance company. company. An insurance company in Dominican Republic. <laughs> yes. Uh, cool. Yeah. That's the reason why, because I I think they are like they have different education, I guess. Yeah. And well, that's why maybe. Mm -hmm. That that was the the period that I that I wanted. Which one is yours? I was telling I was telling to Ana Claudia and Jose that I saw a Netflix series that is called The Bridgetons, and mm -hmm. it's a it's una serie de época. Okay, yeah. And I think that is on the 19th, 19th century. 19th. 19th, 19th centuries, yeah. Okay. And and yeah. the reason I I was saying that that I love dresses, that big dresses, big dresses. And colorful <laughs> dresses. And, oh my god. <laughs> and and all the this thing of, uh, about the balls and 
and and the sweeters sweeters like that. I don't know how to say it. Mm. Say again sweeter. that word. Sweet. Spell it. I think that sweeters. is that sweeters. I okay. think like you are talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was that was why I was thinking like sweeters. Liliana, come on. Uh -huh. so, what is that? <laughs> come on, I'm seeing <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Pretendientes. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a new word for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was why I was like, Liliana, what is she thinking about? Yeah, then I remember she's single and young. <laughs> yeah. No, and I so, was asking her, the, did... How do you imagine how these uh, girls, how they do when they need to go to the bathroom with all those big dresses? <laughs> and <when> you, wear... <laughs> you know, you know, Anna Claudia, you just kill us here. No, I was asking to her when you came in. Seriously. <laughs> hmm. Teacher, how well, do you say the word that Ileana said? Serie de época. Uh, that's a, 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 oh man, I know that word. I know that word. Hold on, it's uh, H. No, it's uh, season. Can we use season or period? No, 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 period. Period. That's the word. Yes, yeah, she used period. Ah, okay. Period. That's the one. Exactly. That's the one. Period. Ah, okay. Period. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, I like that time. It was interesting, very interesting. And hmm. the only thing that I didn't that I didn't like about those times was the life expectancy. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that good? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If if the the young girls, for example, uh, like my age, twenty seven. For moms, you are too old to get married. Yeah, to the get married, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, you were too yeah. old. At that, at that age, you would be too old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I am glad that I wasn't born in the 50s or the 60s. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, imagine me in the States, Woodstock, man. <laughs> you would like to be there, right? To be honest with you, knowing what I know right now about myself, not that much. <laughs> ah. Not that much. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I mean, I will have been like firing all the time. Uh, mm. Not good. That's ah, not okay. good. Okay. Let's see. In my case, if I think uh, if I could be born at a different time period, like that, mm, maybe that is not the question for me because I'm okay with the the period I was born. Maybe when were you born? Ah, uh, I was born in the seventies. The 70s were cool, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Anna Claudia. The 80s were awesome. Oh, yes, of course. Of the and, 80s were and, awesome. And the 90s for music were man. I think it always is better the 80s for music. <laughs> well, you know, the 80s were good, pretty good, because they 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 set a they set the pace for a change, but the late 80s mm -hmm. and the early 90s for, early music, 90s, for me. I agree with you. For me, were, I yes. mean, the late 80s, uh, I mean, all all germs had a boom. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with you. That, that is why I feel comfortable with the age I was born because um, with the period. Yeah, we born. are so sorry for Eliana, for Jose. <laughs> When they were born, music was not the same. <laughs> and if Jose is missing. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, if you remember Ana Claudia in the 90s, let's see. Uh, 
I remember. Put those in palm up the jam. <laughs> I, I remember. No, no, in the 90s. Uh, I remember Guns N' Roses, Metallica, and Aerosmith, I guess. They launched. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. And in, in Nirvana, they launched the one Just of the nice. very em emblematic albums in a period of three months. Exactly. Exactly. It was it, it, awesome. It was a, a, a season of change, I, I guess, for everything. Uh, communication, everything. For that reason, I, I, I feel comfortable. I feel okay with the uh, period I was born. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. regret on that. Mm -hmm. And then I think I would like, I would have liked to know about the 1920s, is the culture, I mean, the, 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 all the writers. Man. Okay. That would have been lovely for me. Well, guys, it's almost time. Let, I'll see you over there. Okay. <laughs>
Now, let's see. I'm sorry, uh, guys. I know that uh, all of you were participating, but I need to move on. Uh, I'm sorry, Heidi, I need to talk to you again. I got a question for you. Okay. Okay. How do you tell if you are ready to take on the responsibilities of a manager? Uh, if I would be ready to take on the responsibility of how do you tell? myself? How do you tell? If I'm ready myself? Yeah, how, how can you say, okay, I'm ready to take on these responsibilities? If I, if I get what, enough, what, enough knowledge. What, uh, what characteristics, what type of knowledge makes you feel uh, sure or makes you uh, push you to, 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 to take on that responsibility? Well, I need to be a good leader. Okay. I need to be able to develop the people who's working with me because, you know, managers, that's our role. We have to develop uh, the, the, the resource we are, being, we are given. For example, okay. me, I, I, I don't sell any credit card or any mortgage or any account. I don't sell that. I have to make my sellers, my, my, my team to do it. So I have to leave them for them to, to, to get their goals and to be able to develop into, into our bank or any other enterprise or any, any other company. So we have to be good developers, good leaders. Okay, so you have to take, you have to make the best out of the resources you've got. You're a signer, exactly. either the human or, or materials. Exactly. There are so okay. many other roles we got, but. Yeah, but those are more the perhaps, perhaps not the most significant, but the, the, the ones that people usually focus the most on, right? Exactly. We have to give the results and we cannot do it our own or, uh, ourselves. We need our team to, to, to reach our goals. Okay. So you have to cool. lead the team to success. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks for sharing. Now guys, why am I talking about this? Because that's gonna be our topic tonight. We're gonna be talking about management. In the, in the manual. Uh, but before we move on to the manual, I need to take the second attendance. Uh, please, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastu Medias. Present, teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorta. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacuarta Rivera. Here. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. As I was telling you, we, were, we are going to be working a little bit from the manual. And our topic is this. Look, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, management. Okay. So we're going to 
be able to describe the main task and responsibilities of a manager within a company. So first, let's start with a little conversation, okay? Tom is a new manager at Benson's Furniture Store. Robert, his boss, is not happy about sales. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. And the conversation goes like this. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistants so they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it will make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get demoted, Tom. I repeat. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are chopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistants so they do a better job. That may help. Yes. I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought you would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get the motor, Tom. Okay, guys. Teacher, what's the meaning this, of demoted? Oh, when they take your position, you go down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How do you say that? Instead, of, instead uh, of promotion, the opposite of promotion. Maybe yeah, exactly the, that. Degree the opposite or of, the opposite of promotion. Okay. Demo. No, sorry. Hmm. I know the word in Spanish, but silly me, I have forgotten it. It's yeah, we used I remember we used to use that in the army. Uh it will come to my mind, but yes, it's the completely the opposite of promotion. Okay. You get promoted is up, the motor is down. Okay. And degraded will be a synonym. We don't say that. Uh, to be honest with you, we don't say the gradle, but the idea you are expressing is the motive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Removido. Yeah. That would be. Yeah, because, well, remove, it's different. Like, <laughs> maybe. Oh, and yeah, downgrade. From no. Yeah, but no, no, no. It's it's no, just no. that this the specific word is the motive. That's the specific word, and it's the opposite of uh of promoted. Okay. To be honest, uh, let me just a second. Okay, the motive is to give someone a lower rank okay usually it is done as a punishment strictly like that i mean you were in a position you didn't do good so they tell you okay now your position is going to be a lower one as simple as that now guys uh, i will divide you in small groups just let me get you first the the image so you can have it also in the group.
for you to practice. Very cool. Okay, groups are created, please. We got four minutes for practicing. Jump in. Do you have do you have the conversation? Let me see. I sent you to the group. Okay. Uh, I will start. Okay, go ahead. I hate to tell you this, John. Perdón, comienzo. I had you I had to I had to tell you this time, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competitions, Silence Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistance so they do a better job. That might help. Yes, I want I want to talk to you about that. Your current ad advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month, or you'll get demoted, Tom. Demoted. 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 Demoted, Tom. No. Okay, now it's my turn to start. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Saturn's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things, things there are too expensive. I'll ever... Yes. I'm alone. I don't know who are you're going to transfer me to another group or someone else. Demote, 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 demote. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's see. Give me a second. Hmm. You're still thinking <laughs> in that word. No, I'm thinking on the. I am remembering the pronunciation. It's demote. Demote. The in present is demote. In past is demote. It changes a little bit. Okay, I'll send you to another group.
Brooks. Roxana, I texted you. No, teacher, I yes, don't when have. You were in the group. I did. Oh, I'm working in the cell phone. I I miss the text message. Okay, let's see. Ramon Enrique Mata and Steven. Ramon, you're Robert. Okay, let me see. Okay, I had to tell you this time, but all says we're down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new chains, people are shopping at all reputation, Sagan phone to the stores. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sales system so they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I want to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get result this month or you'll get removed, Tom. Okay, demoted, demoted. Sorry, demoted. D, D, demoted. D, demoted. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, Alejandro and Ileana. Alejandro, you'll start. I hate to tell you this song, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things that are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan implement a new advertising campaign and monitor or from sale assistance. So they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it will make our sales go up. Well, Organize things better and get results this month, or you get demoted, Tom. Okay, perfect, guys. Just a little something, both of you. Again, again. Again. Yep, okay. like that. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. Heidi and Roxana. Heidi, you start. Okay, teacher. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Saturn's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plant implement a new advertising campaign and monitor our front sales assistant so they do a better job. That's my hope. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get them out, Tom. Okay. You get the motor, uh, no. Roxana. Yeah, this lady is not playing around. Thank you. Let's see. Excellent, ladies. Very good. Uh, Irene and Maria Alejandra. Irene, you'll start. 
Okay. And I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, sir? Yes. Even after implementing the new change, people are shopping at our competition. Tarang's furniture store. Oh, unbelievable. Seeing there are too expensive, I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sales assistant to do a better job. That may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I too is who made our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get resolved this month, or you'll get demoted, Tom. Okay, demoted, demoted. Now let's see. Thank you very much, ladies. Francisco, Eduardo, and Mr. Jose Rivas. Uh, Jose, you start. Okay, let, let me see. So, okay, I hate to tell you this time, sorry, I had to tell you this time, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, a science a furniture store. Unbelievable, teams, they are too expensive. I evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our from sale assistant so they do a better job that may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about it, about that, uh, your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get resolved this month, or you will get demoted, demoted Tom. Fine. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Fernando and Ada. Fernando, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Uh, I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were done again last month. Done again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competitions, science furniture store. Unbelievable. These there, these there are too expensive. It, I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistant so they do better jobs. That may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make or sellers go out. Well, organize team better and get resolved this month or you'll get the marathon. Perfect, now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Fernando. Down again. Yes, down again. Down again. Uh, again. My line. Again. Okay. Yeah. It's we're down again. Yes. Our sales were down again. Now let's see. Um, Ana Claudia and Juan Carlos. Uh, Juan Carlos will start. Okay. Understood. Uh, let me see. Uh, may you share on this chat 
the the presentation of this uh, the dialogue you mean the dialogue yes oh yes yeah, sure give me just a second <clears throat> There you go. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition second furniture store. Unbelievable things that are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign and monitor our front cell assistance so they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about it. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and the next results this month on you and you'll get the, the model term. The model, Whoops. sorry. Whoopsie, uh -oh. awesome guys, very well done. Uh, Steven, would you mind helping me? Uh, Steven and Marcos. Marcos, you'll start, please. Okay. I hate to tell you this time, but our sales were down again last month. And again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping our competition, second furniture store. Unbelievable. Things that are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implementing a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale system. So they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I wanted to tell you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it will make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month, or you will get the motor Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steven. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, now exercise three and four, you're going to be working in pairs for both of them. First, you have to discuss the answer to the questions below. What are three of Tom's responsibilities as a manager? Then, what does Robert mean by organizing things better? Exercise four, match the terms with their corresponding definition. You got implement, monitor, evaluate, plan, organize. Okay, and then you got the description. So, I need you to get the definition with the concept, okay? So you're going to go back to working groups. Actually, you're going to be working with the same people you were working for the conversation. I'll send you the image right and you're in the WhatsApp group, okay? No worry. And groups are open. Please jump in. Uh, discuss the answers to the questions below. What are three of Tom's responsibilities as a manager? Mm, I think that one of the responsibility, responsibilities, sorry, is that he have to 
evaluate the the work or the results of of Robert. No, of I'm sorry. No, what are drift terms? Sorry, I maybe I get confused. I need to tell you this term. Oh no, sorry. I got confused. Why are three of tons responsibilities as a manager? Like number one, for example, I believe that arrange evaluate plans, implement a new advertising campaign, monitor the front sale assistance. Those are our these responsibilities. Want me to repeat again? Yeah, where, where are those options? <laughs> okay. What are three of those responsibilities as a manager? Evaluate plans, uh, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor the front sales assistance. What do you think, Ileana? Mm. Sorry, oh, Ileana I disagrees with me. Nothing. No, okay. sorry, I have a bad, bad connection, so I I just heard pieces of your of. of okay, number of one. The, the conversation. Evaluate, I, evaluate plans. Got it. Okay, I got it. Evaluate plans. Okay, let's do something. I will text it for you guys in the in the Zoom chat. It's gonna be Sorry, easier. I, Thank you. I just yeah. check my computer. Sorry, I have to also move Viliana. to another place because I have a bad connection in my bedroom. Sorry, I just give me a second. I'm running. Oh my you know, I just picture you running around your house. Yeah, actually, I did that. That's funny. Okay. I think in my living room, I had a better connection. Okay. Well, as as Tom, well, it says what are three of Tom's responsibilities as a manager. Yeah, evaluate plans, implement a new advertising campaign and monitor from the front sales assistance. Okay. Agree, teacher. So, uh, I, I agree with that. You better, you better. <laughs> you, be, you, you better agree. Yeah, evaluate plans. <laughs> As a manager, is a like a must in the. In okay, the let's move on. Let's move on. Hurry up, because you got uh, more questions. The second question: uh, What does Robert mean by organizing things better? Organizing things better. That Tom's need to to work on the current advertising campaign. Because yeah, redesign it. Yeah, he needs to redesign it. He needs also, to redesign the advertising campaigns to in order to get better results. Yeah, so, also perhaps uh, implement that training program for sales personnel, you know? Yeah. That could also help, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it could. Because he's in trouble right now. What about the next exercise? What you got for next exercise? What is number one? Arranging production workforce, training and resources to achieve goals or objectives. 
No, so this is the tip culture of to Arranging production workforce training and resources to achieve yes. culture. Yep. Yes. What is that? Organize. Yes, sure. Perfect. Nice. Second, to check, supervise, watch, or keep check, track of a process. process. Monitor. Monitor. Finish, guys. Finish, teacher. Yes. Perfect. So, Roxana, please, at the end. Mm. And you? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, true. guys, let's see. Before we move on, uh, tell me what you got. What, which is the order you got? Organize, monitor, um, Implement, evaluate, uh -huh. and plan. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go back to the main room. Heidi, I need you to prepare something for tomorrow. Do you have time? Sure, teacher. Okay, you need to prepare a five minutes presentation about any given topic. Any? You choose, yeah, you choose the topic, it's up to you. Okay. Okay. If you want to prepare, the, I mean, when I say presentation, is you speaking, but if you want to use any type of aids, it's okay as long as it's your own. You can. We cannot use like videos, YouTube stuff like that for the, you know, the copyright. But if you prepare a little PowerPoint presentation, that's cool. For the class. Oh yeah, for the class. You're gonna okay. be presenting for the class. Uh, okay. Let's see, Anna Claudia. Hello. Hello, teacher. For Wednesday, you will have five minutes to talk to us about any given topic. Up to you. Really? Yep. My God. <laughs> you, you like. Can, uh, uh -huh. You can. You can use aids, like you can prepare a PowerPoint presentation. Remember, we can we need to be careful with copyright, so we cannot use like nothing from YouTube stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Let me think of this coming Wednesday. Yeah. Ah, okay. Let me well, think. If if you want, you can switch with Heidi. Heidi's got tomorrow. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, Hi, thank you, my friend. <laughs> That's okay. You go oh, ahead, Anna Claudia. I can <laughs> make that sacrifice for you. <laughs> thank you, uh, my friend. <laughs> okay. I know Juan her Carlos. topic will be flowers. I'm pretty sure Juan, of that. <laughs> Juan Carlos, you go okay. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Remember, any given topic is up to you. Oh, 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 okay, but uh, what should I do for Thursday? Talk to us. You will have five minutes to present oh. any given topic. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Excellent. Uh, this is my first activity, so I, I will try to. Uh, I, should I have a, P, a PPT document? Yes, you or? can. Yeah, you can. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Welcome yeah, Mar on board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marcos, you go Friday. Okay, teacher. Okay, and on for Monday, next Monday, Mr. Steven. Okay, remember any given topic, it's up to you. The rest of you guys, I will let you know on Friday because uh, I am making the calendar, okay? So don't hesitate. Remember, it's five minutes 
feel free to talk. Uh, I'll be taking down notes in order to help you. And that's gonna also help me to, to, to check out if there's something that we need to work. Uh, if there's something that I could advise you like personally for you to improve. And this is not an evaluation per se because your evaluation comes from, the, from your job in the platform, from your attendance to the class, but this is like uh, something extra that is going to help me help you. Also, if you want me to check out your PPT before, send it to me. If you got a script or your main ideas, and if you want me to help you with something of that, send it to me. Uh, of course, I'm here to help you, no problem. Okay, you can send it to me the better same day if you want, but if it's previously, it's even better. So, uh, Please don't hesitate, even the new ones. Remember, you can text me anytime and be sure that I'm going to answer back, okay? So no problem. If you want to do it directly to me, no problem, just tell me your names. I'm very bad at names, okay? So it takes me long to, to, to memorize them. Okay. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. It's gonna be fun. Now, let's see, let's go to the activity we were doing. What am I, what am I, what am I, what am I? Whoopsie, okay. Now, Eliana, tell me what are three of Tom's responsibilities as a manager? Eliana, hello. Sorry. Uh, evaluate plans, implement okay. an advertising campaign, and monitor the front sale assistance. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Ana Claudia, what does Robert mean by organizing things better? Um, um, he means to get results. Okay. But what activities he needs to do in order to get them results? Um, uh, let's see. To review the current advertising campaign. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. That would be one. Uh, perhaps something else that he could do, you know, is, you know, he, he says monitor our front sale assistance, perhaps prepare a training. It could work, right? I thought, I thought, uh, I'm sorry, I was, I got confused. You were talking about the first one, free of time responsibilities? No, what does Robert mean by organizing things better? Ah, okay. So it would be almost the same answer, right? With the first one. Almost. Almost, uh huh. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now let's see, exercise four, match the terms with their corresponding definition. Okay, number one, Fernando, tell me, please read it and tell me which one is it. Okay, teacher, I think that arranging production, workforce training and resources to achieve goals or objectives is organized. Okay, perfect. You are quite right. This is to organize. Now, number two. Number two goes to uh, 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 Maria Alejandra. Okay, to check to provide what or keep track of a person. I think that a monitor. Okay, let's monitor. Thank you. Ada, you got number three. The process of putting a decision or plan into effect. The implement. Okay, implement. That's perfect. 
Now let's see. Number four. Number four goes to uh, Roxana. Um, the process of putting a decision or plan into effect is implement. So effect is implement. Okay. No, number four, my dear. Okay. Uh, reviewing, uh, assessing to success of the world, the plan and the allocation of employees and their resources is... Eval no, see, evaluate. Okay, perfect to evaluate. Excellent. Number five, please. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see, number five. Alejandro, yeah. would you mind reading number five? Process that, that identifies the goals or objectives to be achieved and the strategies to achieve them. Plan. Perfect. So we've got implement, monitor, evaluate, plan, and organize. Well done, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, we come back here. Now the exercise was quite good, no? And very simple. Give me just a second. Okay, you know, with the with some of the of your classmates, we have talked about dream jobs, but now we are going to talk about the the the. We are still talking about the unreal. Okay, we are going to talk about the future. We're going to project ourselves into the future. If you could do your dream job 10 years from now, which job would you choose? What do you think? Uh, what would you like to be doing in 10 years? What would be your dream job in 10 years? That's what I want you to discuss with your classmates. Take a minute to think about it and then discuss. Okay, you're going to have five minutes for this activity, then I'm gonna bring you back and you're going to report me about your classmate, okay? Pay attention to what your classmate tells you. Now let's see, okay, hold on. Okay, groups are open, please jump in. Come on. advantage in your house with house chores and maybe a job in final area but with more salary okay. or maybe a job in another country um I don't know, maybe, or a job when, a, a job that needs to travel around the world, teaching something. 
Yeah, that's interesting. How would you like to teach? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Travel. Ah, okay, thing. okay. Mm -hmm. And you? In 10 years, I hope I will be retired and my job will be to take care of my grandchildren. Okay. <laughs> grandchildren? Yeah. It's what I don't... Grandchildren. Yeah, my, my daughter will be 31. My son's going to be 30 and I don't want to uh -huh. have grandchildren. I don't want to have them right now, but when I'll be able to take care of them, I, I want to take care of them. No, that's why I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want to take care of them. It's that, you know, something uh, I didn't have any help from my parents because both passed away. And oh. Yeah, and, and I, oh, I always needed them. So I imagine or I feel that I, it will be great for my daughter to yeah, have I, me you taking know what? care of I, I, I am just I am just picturing Roxana as a grandma. <laughs> no. She's too young. How old yeah, are you, Roxana? 32. Oh, ah, yeah, you're too young. Kilo. Yeah. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> but for me, no, I'll be I'll be 55 in 10 years. Still uh -huh. young. <laughs> From my heart and my soul and my spirit, I'll be 20. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> Let me go take another group. Okay, let's see. Irene, where are you, Irene? Hello. There you are, there you are. Please tell me about Maria Alejandra's dream job in 10 years. Okay, uh, she said she said that uh, her, her dreams about the future is have has the their own business having. to be the owner about having their own business and she would like to work a lot for get this dream about her and nowadays they she, uh, she uh, not not is working on it but in the future maybe is her dream having okay. and their own his her own business. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Iliana, tell me about Alejandro, please. Okay, Alejandro told me that in 10 years uh, he would like to be a traveler and get okay. paid for it and get paid for it. Ooh, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Steven, please tell me about Ramon and Jose. Okay, mister. Uh, let me remember. Uh, they, they don't want to be um, uh, too much time employees. They want to they wanna get his own business. Uh, okay. I don't remember, sorry, but uh, I... Let me remember. It will be Jose that said that they they like 
to be like something, uh, sorry, I, I, I don't remember what kind of business. I don't quite remember, but, I, but they- I, I own their business, yeah. The main idea is that they got, they want to own their own business. That's cool, yeah. thank you. Okay, Heidi, tell me about your classmates. Hello, uh, Roxana Hello. said. Uh, Roxana said that she would like to have a job, a uh, home office job, right, Roxana? Yes. Okay. Doing what? Teaching. Mm. For real? <laughs> yeah. Right. No well, the reason. <laughs> <laughs> when I say that uh, in ten years I did, I will uh, or I choose a, if I could choose a job maybe I choose a, a home office job because it's um, it's a help to you you know you can save time money and you you can you can. Um, have uh, time for your house chores or something like that. And the other side, on the other hand, and um, I would like to travel around the world teaching something. Okay, perfect, thank you. Fernando, tell me about Ada's dream job. Uh, Ada told me that she wants to find a cure for cancer. Okay, cool. That's nice. Thank you. That's a good thing. Okay, Anna Claudia, tell me about your classmates. Yes, teacher. Uh, when we were about to ask Juan Carlos, <laughs> he was <laughs> no subtracted. <problem>. No problem. <laughs> okay. Please tell us Juan Carlos because we didn't have the opportunity to hear. Okay. Uh, may I, teacher? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yes, okay. Uh, I will like, uh, okay, talking about my dream job, uh, it will be maybe the investor as a, in crypto coin because, uh, wow, so I know that is a hard work uh, because you should get the right equipment and the right uh, acknowledgement about the uh, no sorry knowledge of that uh, how it works but i know their their income is too high and they can do a lot of uh, transaction and investments to other companies and get uh, more money and so I would like to do that. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. I was Juan Carlos, but I also have been working with Marcos and he said he would like to be a pilot. He would like to be a pilot. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice, that's nice. Now let's see, uh, 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 Heidi. Hello, Heidi, where are you? Where do you go? Hi there. I'm right here, teacher. Okay, Heidi, tell me, if you own an island to yourself, what rules would you implement? Tell me at least one rule, that Thank something you. that would be <laughs> mandatory in your island. You know, uh, if, if I'm with more people than me? Yeah, sure. Okay. But you, but you are the one who rules. Respect has to be the first rule. Okay. And there is a group of people. For me, respect, you have to be able to say anything face to face with all the respect. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, what about you, Francisco? If you own an island to yourself, what rules would you implement? Uh, sorry, teacher, could you repeat me, please? I sent you the, the question in the, in the Zoom chat. If you own an island to yourself, what rules would you implement? Mm. 
well, <laughs> uh, I think uh, I don't implement uh, anything <laughs> because only respect, only respect. Okay, so perfect. Respect. So you totally agree with Heidi. Okay, let's see. I still got time for two more of you. Let's see. Let's see. Who is it gonna be? Hmm. Fernando, what do you think? What's your opinion? My opinion and my own island. Yeah. Um, I think uh, one rule, uh, all every Friday at night, every Friday at night, sorry, and all people must participate in a party, in a formal party. Men with a suit and lady with a dress, like uh, all like a bowl. England, all England. Oh yeah, yeah, like a bowl. Like a bowl, I guess. Yeah, bowl. Like a bowl. Okay. Yeah, like a bowl. That's nice. Excellent. Come in. Hey guys. <laughs> I saw Bridgerton. Oh, Personally. Yeah, that's why, that's why. Hey guys, believe it or not, time has flown. I hope you enjoyed the class as much as I did. Just let me get the final attendance. And let's see, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfaro Sagasco Medias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Airi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Carlos Romero López. Here. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Thank you, Steven. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you liked the class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, the moment has come. Sorry, Roxana. Hi. Hi, sorry, sorry, but I needed someone for the first night. And the first yes. night is always difficult because there's nobody like here. Yes. Oh, there you are, long time no see you. I know. So how are you, tell me. Well, everything is okay, you know, the job is tired okay. sometimes. Yeah, it's okay, but uh, sometimes the job have uh, increased more than other days and it's complex, but everything is okay at home, same. I have a lot of homework with my son. Okay, you're doing better? But, yeah. Yeah, but you are not sleeping enough. Mm, I try. You are not. It shows. <laughs> I, I can try. tell. Remember, I'm a person who doesn't sleep at all, so I can tell. Life is hard now, teacher. Yeah. I mean... Well, always. 
here, life has always been far, but you know, you have taken off a weight of your life. Yes, I know. So, um, Tom? And that's good. In a way, it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that uh, the reason why I am tired all the time because is, is because I try to go to the gym all day. We can, cool. I can't, but in all week, I try to go to the gym all day. That's cool. That's cool. Excellent. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, going, doing something. I mean, it's not going to the gym, but doing something is good in your case. You need to keep busy. I need and, to. And you need to get tired. And I'm not talking about like exhausted. I'm talking about like tired, physical. Yeah. yeah. That's necessary. And tell me, what's your expectatives for the class? I'm going to demand a lot from you, my dear. I'm going to push you. You We are like this of getting into advance. Well, um, I will try to get more vocabulary. I think well, that you is are my... Getting, you're getting more vocabulary. You're speaking better. Really? I think that this is a common vocabulary. No, but you're speaking better. You are more confident than when I met you, like, I don't know how many years ago. <laughs> no, no, yeah. I, can, I, can I can tell the advance. I can tell the advance. And remember, don't forget that you can get vocabulary from the platform if you need a specific vocabulary. I know that it's hard in your case. You, you spend a lot of time, like, very busy. You're always busy. But yeah. uh, something that I would advise you in your case, because I mean, you got your house, you got your, your son, you got your family, you got a lot of stuff. Something that I would advise you to do. Hold on. Is this getting to the uh, getting to the vocabulary? Watch it, read it. Don't try to memorize it. Just go watch a couple of words, check out if they are interesting. Let it go. The next day, again into the same vocabulary, like two, three days. Just check it out, read it, let it go. After two, three days, jump to another topic, different vocabulary, just to check it out. I don't want you to try to memorize it. I don't, want, I don't want you to make the effort to memorize it. I just want you to look at it, to check it out, okay? Just like that. Okay. Uh, you will start noticing after a couple of times that you will notice right at the moment that you are watching it. You will mm -hmm. notice perhaps uh, on a regular day, uh, in a, perhaps in a situation, you will notice that some of those words will come to your mind. Mm -hmm. you will yeah. recognize them and that happens that happens a lot i mean if you start if you've been studying english for a long while so you know that that happens I and mean, sometimes you see a word you didn't pay attention and you didn't it didn't seem that uh important at the moment but then when you need it it comes to your mind so okay do that exercise believe me it's going to help you it's going to let you advance get more vocabulary and we're going to be talking a lot i need you pretty active on the speaking i know that you are but i know that there are some good days bad days that's normal and uh, remember please if you're having a bad day let me know so i can Sorry? also see if you're having a bad day i mean pretty tired or whatever let me know so i can check out with whom i'm going to set you to work because some of your classmates, I mean, they are good, but some of them are very pushy, like you need to work, you mm -hmm. need to speak. Mm -hmm. And sometimes yeah. Yeah, perhaps, yeah. I mean, if you are sick or something, you don't feel like, it. let mm -hmm. me know. I mean, what I want you is to enjoy the class, not to feel stressed for the class, okay? Okay. But I okay. need you 
I need you to be as you have been all the time. Uh, you have given me your trust. I appreciate that. I respect that. And just let me know. Okay. Feel confident to let me know whenever like you're like, look, teacher, I don't feel quite well today. And I will see what I can do to help you pass along those two hours like without getting more stress. Okay. Okay. I get it. Thank you. No, no, always a pleasure, Roxana. So happy to be with you here again. Me too, teacher. Have a good night. Be good. Be good. Always, as usual. Uh, no comments. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.